I am alive and Tay is not. And that's white, that's white privilege right there. Because my, my biggest fear. My name is Courtney Miller. I am a criminal defense attorney. Six years ago, I was sitting in my house, in my living room, watching a movie with my boxer, Birdie. The lights were on. I have floor to ceiling windows in the living room. The blinds were up. Anybody who walked by would have seen that I was home. At some point, my dog demanded to go out and I let her back into the backyard and went back to watch my movie. About five minutes later, I heard her barking furiously and I went into the kitchen, into the backyard where I keep my back door open and my storm door shut. And as I walked to the patio, I saw two flashlights flitting across my backyard, in the dark, in the grass. And when I walked out to my patio, I had to yell out, who's back there? And the answer that I got is, it's the police. I am a white woman in a middle-class neighborhood, and the circumstances of my call, the police were called out to a barking dog, not a welfare call, a barking dog but the police came onto my property. They started flitting around and creeping around stealthily. They did not come to my front door and announce themselves when anybody could have seen that someone was home. Instead, they flitted around and they were stealthy. And it wasn't until I cried out that they announced themselves as the police. I am alive and Tay is not. And that's white, that's white privilege right there. Because my, my biggest fear that night was what if the police shot my dog? And I'm mortified to say that. But after that night, that was my feelings. What if they shot my dog? If I were a black woman in this city, my fear would be what if they shot me? And that's the reality. It's beyond me to begin to understand what kind of police force responds to a wellness call with the equivalent of SWAT. They passed an open door. They failed to announce themselves. They passed a second open door. They failed to announce themselves. They creeped around the back of the apartment and entered a closed gate. They didn't have probable cause at this point from what the neighbor told them to even enter that property. They began creeping around and they created a deadly situation. I stand with you and I commend you for wanting to have a police oversight committee what I ask of you is that you have a criminal defense attorney present on that committee. We watch body cams all day. We can tell you what's going on and we can name names. Thank you. Tabitha, Tabitha Williams.